Hello guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we're going to be figuring out whether or not you should be grinding with a military helicopter or the fighter jet in jailbreak, and which one will ultimately make you more money. If you want to find that out, make sure to watch to the end of this video. Let's get right into it. Hello guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we're going to be figuring out whether or not you should be grinding with a fighter jet or the military helicopter in jailbreak. So it's a really important question because supposedly these two vehicles, the fighter jet and the military helicopter, are the fastest in the game. Well, technically not the fastest. I mean, yeah, there's the Bugatti, but they're the fastest in the terms that they can fly from any point in the map to another point the easiest. So like, for instance, they can fly. I mean, that makes a big difference when you can just go over things. It doesn't matter how fast your car is. Uh, they're, both, they're both the best vehicles for grinding in the game overall. So the goal today is to figure out which one you should be grinding with. If your goal is to make as much money as possible in a certain amount of time, which one's going to make you the most amount of money in, say, 30 minutes or so? Like, that's pretty much the goal to figure out today. Like, which one should you be grinding with if your goal is to grind out as much money in the little bit of time you can play as possible? So we're going to be figuring that out today. Now, I actually have a way to figure this out. If you've seen my past videos, you probably know what I'm talking about. I've used it many, many times before, and I think it's the best way to do it. The best way to do it is racing them. No, that's a terrible idea, and that's literally the worst way to test vehicles against each other like there's lag the two people might press the buttons at different times I mean there's like a million things that could go wrong like one person might use more boost than the other person like I'm sorry but that is the worst possible way to test anything in jailbreak so actually the best way to test this is I made a path so pretty much it starts all the way at the vehicle spawn so for instance the plane if I can stop will spawn right here and um, I'll start the timer the moment I get into it. I'm gonna be testing each one of these for 20 minutes more details on that later but um, yeah right here so for instance this is the start of the path this is the very start of the loops I'm gonna get into this plane right here and I have 20 minutes to loop around as many times as possible so this is the loop you start right here where it spawns and then you hurry over to the donut shop as quickly as possible. So you go over to the donut shop and once you're here, pretty much you go up to the entrance as quickly as possible, open it up, get back into your plane and take off. This calculates a number of things. Like for instance, how easy it is to stop the plane, which has a lot to do with it. Remember, it all has to do with time. It has nothing to do with how fast you actually rob the robbery. That's not the plane's fault. The plane can't be held responsible for if you're a noob and you spend forever and you die in the jewelry store. That has nothing to do with the plane. It has to do with you being trashed at the game. <laughs> I do this to every single robbery. For instance, that was a bad stop. I generally do better than that. I go back to my plane, I get in, I take off, and then the next thing, we went from donut shop to gas station. So this is the loop. Donut shop, gas station, bank, jewelry store, museum, power plants, and then you go all the way back to the collector and supposedly cash in all the money and then go back to the plane. Again, I'm not actually robbing all of these because it might take me 10 seconds to rob the donut shop and you 15 seconds or something like that. Or might, I don't know. I'm not always a pro. It might take you 8 seconds and me 10 seconds. I don't know. Or you might get the wrong jewelry store floors. That doesn't have anything to do with the plane. Again, so it's not a very valid way of testing it. Too many variables. But you go through that loop of uh, the spawn to the donut shop, gas station, bank, jewelry store, museum, power plant, collector. Then you go back to the donut shop and you go through the gas station, you know, all over again. It starts at where the spawn is because that's where the plane spawns or the military helicopter. That's where the vehicle spawns in general and then it goes through all these loops so the way i'm testing it the reason why i'm doing this loop is because it includes all the major robberies that are predictable like i don't know when the train's going to be in that doesn't have anything to do with it that's totally random and the airdrops are random too and generally this is one of the best ways to uh, rob things the best cycle so you might in when you're robbing in jailbreak you might want to rob the donut shop and the gas station and bank jewelry store museum power plant and the cash in the jewelry store museum and power plant money all at the same time like that's pretty much one of the best ways to rob it assuming they're all open and again whether or not they're open has nothing to do with the plane so that's why i'm not testing it that way i actually made a video on which robbery is the best and the best way to grind if you want to see it it's going to be right here actually that's the wrong mission failed actually that's the wrong direction it's going to be like in the top I think right corner for you guys and uh, that has all the info on it but yeah that's what I'm gonna be doing so I'm gonna be getting into the plane at the spawn and I'm gonna have 20 minutes to make it through every single cycle now this calculates a number of things for instance how fast the plane is but determine how many times I can get from the donut shop to the gas station so I'm gonna be starting at the spawn I'm gonna give myself 20 minutes and in those 20 minutes I want to see how many times I can complete that cycle and I'm gonna compare that to the military helicopter find out which car is the best for grinding so this proves a number of things for instance it takes into account how fast the vehicle is so like the plane really really fast but it has something to do with it so when I take off at the donut shop how fast can I accelerate 
him stop before I get to the gas station. That's an amount of time. That's basically what it's calculating. So how quickly can I get from the donut shop to the gas station? Or, you know, from the gas station to the bank or power plant to collect or, you know, any part of it. It has to do with all of it. And another thing is, like, how quickly can I stop? Like, how quickly can I brake and actually get out of the plane and land it and then get to where I want to go and take off again? And the plane can be really, really annoying from this, um, just from experience. Like, if you land it like this, it can be really frustrating, but that's part of the experience, right? Like, you want to calculate that. That's part of the, um, that's generally part of the experience of owning the plane. It has a lot to do with it. And for the military helicopter, I don't know. It might be better, it might be worse, but that's what I'm going to be figuring out today. So I'm going to time-lapse that. I'm going to talk about the vehicles, and I'm going to spend 20 minutes in each car, so I'm spending quite a while making this video and uh, going through all the uh, clips and that kind of thing. So make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, yeah, let's cut right to it. So for the jet, it actually went around seven times, seven whole times in that loop, again in 20 minutes, and it stopped at the donut shop. It was going to get a little bit farther, but I just couldn't make it in time. It, was, it almost got to the gas station when the time ran out. It actually got stuck at the gas station, which is why I couldn't rob it. Like, I didn't count it because I couldn't take off. It got stuck, and that's very, very annoying. I just want to say I tested the plane like five times. Like... Five times it got stuck so bad that I had to stop the timer and restart because it's mainly my fault I'm not the best flyer in the world. I don't normally use the plane But it got stuck and then it I couldn't take off anymore So that's a very annoying thing about it, but I, I it got stuck a few times. I got it free but um, Considering you don't get stuck it made it around seven times instead of the donut shop and um, for the military helicopter, I also did 20 minutes. Now, this was a lot more stable. It didn't seem to fly quite as fast as the plane did by quite a bit. It doesn't have as high of a top speed, but it's a lot easier to control, and the landing and takeoff seem to be a lot better. It generally always lands perfectly. Like, unless you really screw it up or eject from, like, way up in the air, it generally always lands well, and you won't have any problems. It's a very stable vehicle. Another pro about it is it holds, like, seven people, I think, and the military fighter jet only has holds one person so that's definitely a perk about the military helicopter compared to the fighter jet um, but yeah the military helicopter got eight times around eight times around then the museum so that's a whole nother time and then it passed the bank and the jewelry store in the museum. It almost made it to the gas station, or not at the gas station. It almost made it to the power plant, but it just barely didn't quite get there. It got really, really close. I, again, I didn't really want to count it because the timer went off just before I landed. But yeah, so that's generally the comparison. The military helicopter made it around eight times, and then it made it all the way to the power plant, and the jet airplane got around seven times at the donut shop. So with these results, we can pretty much say that the military helicopter is hands down the best for growth. Grinding. It got basically one and a half times around more than the uh, jet airplane did, so it did quite a bit better. And again, you would not get around eight times if you were robbing everything in 20 minutes. But again, how much, how long you spend robbing it has nothing to do with the plane. Like it's so much better. Um, it's not as fast as the fighter jet. But it's still really, really good, and this is the best. Another thing to take into account is that this holds six people back here and one person in the passenger seat, so it holds a lot more people. So it's a lot better if you have friends and that kind of thing. So pretty much the entire perk of the fighter jet is just that it looks good. I mean, it shoots missiles, but they both do that. So it's kind of the same that's shared across both of them. Nothing really spectacular. So yeah, that's the test. If you guys want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm live streaming or posting a video pretty much every single day. Every now and then I don't. So make sure to follow my Twitter, at on 2 for updates if I'm going to or what time that kind of thing so yeah make sure to like and subscribe guys and if you want to see more like this I'm trying to post this stuff every week or so like test videos like this the next one is going to be whether or not the, the uh, Tesla Roadster or the military helicopter are better in jailbreak because we've already determined that the Tesla Roadster is the best vehicle if you want to see that top right of the screen and I'm going to be taking that against the military helicopter to figure out which one is the ultimate best in the game and I really think it's going to be the military helicopter but I keep telling people that and they don't believe me anyways so we're going to do it anyway so yeah, if you guys want to see more content like this or funny videos, make sure to click one on the stream. But yeah, thank you for watching guys. I appreciate it and I'll see you guys again next time.